Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. It's a couple of days before Christmas as I'm recording this and the elves at Not To HQ have sent me an early Christmas present. I have got in my hands the brand new Not To Double Score. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions video of the machine and hopefully in the next week or so I'll be getting out and giving it a test out on the beach. So, I'm Adam, this is my new metal detector and this is an unboxing and first impressions video for the Nocta Double Score. Welcome to DTAC Sussex. Okay, so before we unbox it, let's have a quick intro into the machine. This is the Nocta Score. It was announced at uh, Detectable this year. I was there. I was one of the first to break the news uh, when they did the big announcement at uh, Detectable this year. Now, the score comes in two different versions. There's the score and the score two, or the double score. Some people call it different things. Um, Nocta is switching between the two descriptions. So either score or double score or score two, whichever you prefer, and there's two levels. The score on its own is basically just turn on and go. Turn on, run a noise cancellation, go. And there's very few settings on it. The uh, the double score has a lot more settings on it, a lot more uh, adjustability uh, on there. So that's the two levels for the score. Now, where does this fit into the Nocta range? Um, a lot of people have been saying, oh, it's another new machine. They keep coming out with new machines. I can't keep up. Um, so basically this completes the new generation of Nocta machines. So um, you've got the single frequency range, which are the simplexes, new generation simplexes. That's the light, the BT, and the ultra. So the light being the simplest, the ultra being the more complex. You've then got the score, which fits the next level up. This is uh, an affordable, simultaneous, multi-frequency machine. So brilliant for beaches, mineralized land, that kind of stuff. You get all the performance of uh, an SMF, simultaneous multi-frequency machine, um, but it's cheaper. It's still fully waterproof and all the other goodness that we're gonna get into in a minute. And then above all that, you've got the uh, flagship product, which is the Nocta Legend. So you've got three at the single frequency, two at the uh, mid, range if you like on the, on the simultaneous multi-frequency and you've got one at the top so it's sort of a pyramid range. Um, so that's where the score fits in to the Nocta range. Let's have a look at the box itself and see what we've got going on. So just tilt it up. Is that going to work? There we go. So on the front we've got the score logo, multi-frequency for all. We've got the two score models here. I believe the box is the same for both models. Uh, we've got the double score pictured on the main part there with uh, a few indications around it. Uh, we are Bluetooth headphone enabled. Doesn't come with headphones, but any low latency Bluetooth headphones will work. And if you've got the headphones for the Legend or the Simplex range, they'll be the same. Uh, it's IP68 waterproof up to five meters or 16 feet, which is brilliant. Uh, fully carbon fiber shaft. All the new machines, or most of the new machines, have the uh, the carbon fiber hardware. Uh, waterproof double D search coil and cover. Now it's 30 centimeters by 23. It's the SC30. So the uh, the letters for the uh, the coils for the score are going to be SC. It's SX for the simplex and LG for the legend. Uh, so the SC30 is the same as the the current stock coil on the legend. Um, up here we've got uh, SMF, simultaneous multi-frequency, uh, two multi-frequencies and 15 kilohertz single frequency. So you've got selectable fre frequencies on there. Three search modes, park, field and beach, as you'd expect. Uh, what we've got on this side, we've got a few graphics, park, field and beach on there. It's lovely. A little bit of info about the Bluetooth down the side. And on the bottom here, we've got uh, auto noise cancellation, uh, 60 target IDs and harmonic tones. Nice. Uh, easy operation, vibration, 
uh, backlit LCD and LED flashlight, as you expect on all the Nocta models, uh, lightweight, long battery life, and online firmware updates so we can fix any bugs or bring any new features to the machine as time goes on. Uh, on the top of the box, hope you can see that, got the logo, Odds frequency for all, score like a pro, little logo on the top there. Uh, on this side, I'm going to move this so you can see it, hopefully, uh, we've got package contents, a green indicates score, Blue indicates double score, and actually the two items on here both got both colours, so we've got the coil and the uh, data charging cable. Uh, the other side of this is just barcodes, so nothing particularly interesting, tells you what's in the box. And on the bottom here, these are suggested accessories, so we've got um, the SC35, so a larger search coil. Uh, smaller SC24 coil, these are available for the score. Uh, waterproof rechargeable battery and charger, so it looks like the same as the Legend. Uh, the Bluetooth, the Nocta Bluetooth headphones, again, same for the Legend and the Simplex. Um, headphones adapter, so you can have uh, plugged, wired headphones plugging into there. Uh, protective system box cover and uh, nano glass screen protectors. You can get these for the uh, the Legend and the Simplex as well. And the, uh, the other side of the main box is the same as the front. So there we go. That is the uh, the tour of the exterior of the box. Oh, one thing I forgot, three years warranty. Uh, so let's get into the box and get the product out and have a proper look and see what's inside. All right, so let's get to the exciting bit. Let's get inside the box and get the machine out and see what we've got inside. Let's just open this up. There we are, this is the first time I've opened it. So. I managed to resist until I got the video made. <laughs> Alrighty, so we, first of all we've got the uh, the manual, score user guide, user manual. Uh, we've got the usual uh, metal detecting code of ethics slip that you get in all the uh, Nocta machines. Nice colour manual in there. Quite like having the paper manual, so I know electronic is a little bit more eco-friendly, but uh, quite nice to have a physical manual, so I'll put that to one side. Uh, what else have we got in here? A little bag. What's got here? So we've got the, the data charging cable in there. It's for uh, charging the machine and for doing the uh, uh, updates, so software updates. We've got a uh, arm strap for the uh, the cuff. And what's this? Oh, this is the um, the bracket, the axle bracket for the uh, coil to fix onto the machine. And then we get onto the machine itself. So we'll take this out. Uh, there's our carbon fibre. Shaft, that's the uh, the upper and lower shaft in there. So it's all a uh, quick release, as with all the machines, all the Nocta machines. Carbon fiber, top and bottom, which is really nice. Just gets rid of all the uh, the flex, and it's really nice and lightweight and tough, so that's nice. Good action on there. Lovely. We've got a bung on the end, yep, we've got a rubber bung on the end there as well, which is nice. Put that down to one side. Uh, we've then got the score itself. Take that out. Velcro straps. Now I've said this on previous unboxings, these Velcro straps, keep them, keep these Velcro straps because you can put them um, around the shaft and keep your, your cable nice and tidy, okay? Keep these Velcro straps, I love that not to put these on there. Um, sort of dual purpose, keeps the machine safe when it's in the box and uh, great for keeping your cable tidy. So here we are, we've got the, uh, the arm cuff, with the uh, parts cut out like you get on the new uh, Simplex and Legends. And then there's the uh, control box. So the uh, the score itself is green. The double score, this one is, it's got the blue detailing on there. It's got the simplex style buttons. Um, it is, I think, yep, yeah, that is the same, basically the same casing, the same outer casing as the simplex, the new simplex, gener new generation simplexes. So nice and thin, nice and lightweight, and that is, wow, it's really light. Uh, the usual not to tough, sturdy grip on there. And on the back, we've got our charging port there with the uh, nice threaded cap. Uh, we've got the coil connection jack or socket, and we've got the uh, the LED flashlight on there, and your serial numbers and everything there. Speakers on the back, all completely waterproof, of course. Yep, just feels exactly like the uh, the Simplex in terms of sort of physicality. Very nice. There's your rail under there for the uh, the battery charger goes through the, uh, the bottom of the uh, the arm cuff there and then attaches onto that rail, so nice and secure. Yeah, like that. And then finally, let's put that down to the side, finally we should have our search core. So you can just poke them through there, let's see if we can get that out. Okay. Keep that Velcro safe. That 
through there. There we go. And there we have the SC30 search core. So nice elliptical on the Legend. I've got this on the Legend and it is an absolutely brilliant coil. Um, it's a do everything coil. It's uh, if you're not sure which coil to, which coil to take, uh, take the the 30 with you, um, and it'll pretty much do anything. It's nice and precise. It's nice and uh, sort of deep. It goes about as deep as the uh, the old stock coils did on the, uh, the Simplex and the Legends. Um, comparably, anyway, I haven't obviously tested it on this machine yet. But there we go, that's everything we get in the box. Let's put it together and have a closer look at the, uh, the machine in its entirety. Okay, so the machine's been fully built. I'm going to take it out into the garden now. I'm going to have a look through the screen layout, the menu systems, and the various settings that are on this machine. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got the machine together. We're in the garden. Let's have a look and turn it on for the first time. Now, this is the first time I'm seeing the screens along with you. Same little chirp as the legend. Okay, so immediately it looks very familiar. It uh, looks a lot like the Simplex and the Legend machines. A uh, few little changes, but not too much. We've got three modes. Uh, there's a blank section there, so I don't know if they're going to add something at a later point, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we've got a rather large three-stage battery indicator here. Uh, what looks like a um, custom profile indicator here. Uh, bear in mind, this is the double score, so there may be settings on here that you won't get on the, the single score. Uh, below that we've got what looks like a discrimination bar, so that should be, uh, let's see what the discrimination bar is going to be in that one. There we go, so we're cycling through, there's where the pinpoint button is, this is the uh, discrimination setting, so we've got all metal, uh, ground, suppression, ferrous, and a custom mode there as well, lovely, same as the legend. Uh, below that we've got our frequency indicator, which I'm going to guess is this button here, yep, M1, M2, M3, so I'm assuming the same as the legend, so M1 for high conductors, M2 for low conductors, and M3 for wet conditions. We've also got 15 kilohertz there as well, lovely. Um, we've then got our, is that our sensitivity? It must be. Yep, sensitivity, so we've got 10 stages of sensitivity on here. I'm just going to turn that all the way down, just because I don't want it chirping, because I'm in a residential area, it might pick up a bit of interference here and there. Uh, we've got obviously our VDI readout in the middle, and we've got um, the depth readout on the right hand side. Nothing showing at the bottom at the minute, I assume if I hit the settings button, that will change. There we go, yep, so we've got our full settings menu at the bottom here. So there's our noise cancellation. Uh, Move along one, we've then got our recovery speed. There we go. Uh, we've then got, I'm guessing that's iron filter. There's a logo there with two nails and a coin. So I'm guessing that's our iron filter. All the way up to nine on there. Super. Uh, volume. Uh, that'll be the back backlight and brightness. There we go. I'll move the backlight on for now, I think it might be better for the, uh, the video. Perhaps. Uh, okay, skipping along, we've got our Bluetooth on and off. Um, that'll be our, I'm guessing, frequency shift, is it? Uh, then we've got our... If I get any of this wrong, by the way, I'll stick a, a correction up on the screen. Uh, we've got our user profiles. Uh, oh, that's our discrimination. So we can set our discrimination there, so pick something. Yeah, you can take the block out. As you go, that's fine. And then we've got a few extra settings on the end there, which is our vibration setting and the flashlight. Great stuff. 
Okay, so yeah, pretty fully loaded. I'm looking forward to giving this a try out on the beach. Uh, and the land as well, but I'll try it on the beach first. Well, the plan is I'll try and get out at some point over the Christmas period uh, with this on the beach and give it a good try, so look out for that. Uh, if you want to see more videos on the double score or the legend or the simplex, make sure you've subscribed to Tech Sussex. Hit that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button and leave me a little comment below the video. Don't forget to share the video with your friends as well. It's always appreciated when people introduce new people to Tech Sussex. And uh, yeah, until I can get this out on the beach for a full hunt, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Have a fantastic week, everybody and I'll see you soon. Take care.